Hi everyone, it's Quickie Baby, and welcome back to World of Tanks. And today I'm going to be opening up 200 large boxes and detailing exactly what you're going to be able to get inside them and how much gold you're going to get per box so you can make the most informed decision about whether the large boxes are worth it this year. Now, I've already talked about what is in all of their contents and to stop this video from being even longer than it is, I'm not going to be repeating myself. So I thoroughly recommend you go and watch that video before if you want the full story on the contents of the boxes. Today is going to be talking about the economics and giving you an example of what opening boxes looks like. And before I begin, just a reminder that the Holiday Ops 2023 Santa's Helpers event is now open. Wherever you use my code and complete Holiday Ops missions inside the game, eventually everyone will be getting a Red Hat Battalion 2D style. But keep in mind, if you use my code, you won't be able to use any of the other contributors and vice versa. So before we begin, I want to be fully transparent. These 200 boxes that you see me opening have been gifted to me via Wargaming. Their retail price will be £205.33. And, and I will be making a donation in turn to Cancer Research and Special Effect to this amount. So it's as if I've paid for them. It's just charity is getting the money instead of Wargaming. Now, I personally abhor random game mechanics when it comes to money, i.e. loot boxes inside video games. I feel they're predatory. I feel that they're an unnecessary way, especially to add new content. And I've been incredibly disparaging about Wargaming's practices with them since 2018. Since then, however, Wargaming have really added uh, a few of them, things that should have been there in the first place. Firstly, they tell you exactly what your percentage chances are of being able to get the specific vehicles in question. On top of that, there are now guaranteed vehicle mechanics, which means that if you don't get lucky opening 50 boxes in a row, that you're guaranteed to be able to get one of the best rewards, which is one of the tier 8 premiums. And this year, as you know from my video, all of the tier 8 premiums are pretty darn amazing, including one tier 9 premium. And so, while this means that you will have to effectively open up 250 boxes to be guaranteed to get any one of the individual vehicles, if you don't already have the AMBT and the Vipera, at least that's a darn sight better than opening hundreds, if not thousands and just getting incredibly unlucky and not getting the one that you wanted like happened with the type 59 many years ago so once again let me explicitly state that i don't feel that random chances with your money should be inside a video game but in the interest of showing you all what it looks like and what your chances are of being able to get gold credits and premium time let's get opening all right here comes the train Delivering me my presents, which I have bought for myself, or in my case, I have Wargaming have given to me. Okay, what's in the box? Well, we're about to uh, find out. Let's open them one by one, and let's start with the New Year boxes, which have Rock Crystal as a gift. That's going to help you to be able to decorate your tree. However, remember that you're best to get the Warm Amber from the Lunar boxes, or get the uh, Meteoric Iron from the Magic Boxes if you want to be able to up your economy and get that credit bonus early. So, let's see how lucky I am this year. Have I been naughty or have I been nice, Santa? 500 gold, that's a pretty good result. No opportunities to re-roll the boxes. Were there re-rolling last year? I can't even remember. I know there was re-rolling in the Waffenträger. That was, that was pretty wild. Doesn't look like there's any re-rolling. Wow, I already got one of the new ones. That's the Panzer Kampfwagen 1R. And one thing that's interesting about this year as well is you can actually see a filter as we're going along to see what we're up to. So here it is, the first tier five German premium heavy tank and it's pretty much just another KV-1. It's a captured KV-1 in this regard, but it, I believe it has better view range and maybe even a better gun to boot. And unfortunately, um, I my mouse reticle disappeared in my garage when I was using my free cam to show you the vehicle, and it looks like it's just opened another box. And it looks like we got 250 gold, but nothing from that one. Let's continue. I'm not sure about these low-tier reward or premium vehicles. I never usually end up playing them, but what's that one? That's an A25 Harry Hopkins. Which is a tier 4 Tetrarch looking tank with a uh, half decent gun. That's nice penetration for a tier 4. Okay DPM as well. Nothing really to write home about though. But it does have nice gun depression and fairly nice mobility as well. Alright, let's keep going otherwise this is going to end up being the longest video known to man. What do we have? 500 gold. 
Not bad, you know, it's 250 guaranteed, so 250 gold extra is not too shabby. Another 500 gold? And it really shows you how much gold you can start to add up to inside this event. 750, even better, triple the gold that I thought it would be. And what are the boxes costing me? About a pound ago, but only if you buy them really big. That's really the worst result for me as a day of premium. That's the last thing that I want on this account, as I already have a lot of premium to begin with. 500 gold, not too shabby. I'll click that, the boxes opened tab. Do I have to press that every single time? It doesn't just want to show, possibly. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to click it every time, boys and girls. 500 gold to boot. Are we going to get a tank soon? No, but seven days of premium. That's a fairly good result, again, if you need the premium. And that's one thing that I'd like to highlight to all of you, that unless you're going to actively play World of Tanks for like the next few months, um, this premium time will disappear. There's no way to pause premium time in World of Tanks. 100,000 credits. Uh, that's the worst possible result, right? So, so far we've opened up, I don't know, what, like about 10 boxes here? We haven't, we've got a couple of the new tanks, which is nice, but they've all been the low tiers. Man, it's obviously like economy-wise, I think they've made it cheaper to open up the big boxes now. 14 boxes opened so far. No premium tonk. Are we going to see one? Well, when I say no premium tank, I mean no... None of the big ones, right? Because that's what a lot of people are going to be cheering for, is hoping for those tier 8s. 100,000 credits? I'm not sure I'm really happy with 250 gold and 100,000 credits, but at least for me, that's better than the premium. This looks like a premium tank. Oh, baby! Oh, it's the cat. Oh, I was hoping it was a tier 8 premium. Imagine that! You see the, the fancy video? Oh, I really hope this music is, uh, is not copyrighted. Or I am going to be having to, um have a very interesting moment in the editing later on. Hopefully not though, hopefully it's Wargaming's version. Is that how it works? I think it is. It's a pretty good video. Alright, I have to admit, it was a pretty good. A fluffy guest with new assignments, the Redshire Cat. Okay, well let's go and take a look at the cat's assignments anyway, so you can have an idea of what they are, because... Okay, so it looks like I have to spend a hundred to get a... Um... A, a, a day of premium? Okay, so I have to pay to get a day of premium from the cat. Purchase treats to win the cat's favor. I'll get action. Our guest will definitely do something with an item that is bought to them. Okay, it looks like my cat will dance or something. And maybe there's some more assignments. I don't bloody know. I'm not going to waste my resources until I figure this more out. But there's a cat. And you can get a cat from the large boxes. Doesn't really look like it's going to do very much. Also, by the way, did you like the name of my, my village, the Tourist Circus? Yeah, because World of Tanks is a little bit of a zoo, to be honest, and I think most of my team are tourists, if you know what I mean. They just want to sit back and watch me play, it feels like, sometimes. Anyway, we got the cat in 17 boxes, but I think the chance of the cat is meant to be 10%, so I kind of got unlucky. I should have got the cat earlier. What are we going to get now? Oh. Wow. What is it? What is it, boys and girls? Some kind of tier 8 premium, most likely. Wow, looks like it is my lucky day. Oh, it's the new Chinese one! The BZ176! Oh, baby, biggest gun at tier 8. I think it's got a 160 millimeter caliber gun. Although, from my video where I was talking about it, I was using Tanks GG, which was using very outdated statistics. Because as you can see, the alpha damage has been nerfed down to only 650 on the AP rounds, and I believe 800 on the Hesh rounds. Still, with 225 millimeters of pen, very scary. You might be thinking 208 pen with no gold that actually has higher pen, quite scary. But remember, this is 160 millimeter, so you'll be able to overmatch so many plates that you see. Uh, those Hesh rounds for 225 for 800 as well, meaning that you will be able to do some very substantial damage there. This is going to be like a, a tank that really just goes and, well, firstly uses its jet boosters, but um, secondly, just, I, th I can imagine it being very predatory against medium tanks and just holding back medium tank flanks with its good armor. Um, anyway, I'll be playing this live on Twitch later on today and expect a full tank review of this vehicle very soon. So make sure you subscribe as I will be releasing tank reviews of all of the new vehicles over the next three days. Anyway, I got, a, I got, a, I got one after 18 boxes and you'll see that now the 50 boxes bad luck prevention or guaranteed vehicle mechanics, whichever way you want to call them, actually resets now. So don't think that you're going to be getting a vehicle every 50 guaranteed if you get lucky and get a vehicle. So one of the um, 
one of the best ways I feel to do this would be... I don't know, open as many boxes as you're going to open. But if you get close, like if you've only got like 10 or 20 boxes left, it's probably quite a good idea to get that amount of boxes just so you can get at least guaranteed a tier 8, right? It's not like you have to buy 50 and open them all in one go. You could just buy like 10, 25, and then if you get really unlucky, you might find later on, oh, I'll have another go. And at least I know that I'm guaranteed to get a tier 8 with, um, with my purchase. So, oh, these guaranteed mechanics, they definitely, they definitely make it a little bit sweeter. But one thing that uh, still concerns me is just that random nature, right? Just because I got lucky in my first 18. I mean, I'm guaranteed because I've got so many boxes to be able to get the other two that I don't have. But the real thing that concerns me is for all the people who don't have the AMBT, which is like 99% of the player base, you might be wanting to get the BZ176 and you might get the AMBT. Now, the AMBT is no boogie prize, let me tell you that. I'm kind of concerned that I'm really getting quite a lot of of less gold than I usually would do from the, the vehicles that I'm picking up. I don't really see many vehicles appearing. Um... Usually I'd have a lot more low tier tanks. I don't understand where the low tier tanks are. I hope I'm not... Um, ah, there we go. There we go. Got one of the SU-2122s. That's a brand new tier 5 Soviet tank destroyer with a double barrel gun. And this one, I think, honestly, might be one of the most exciting vehicles. It's quite funny that Wargaming don't have, like, a special video for this one. But I understand that they don't want to make it too silly. <laughs> Look at this freak. I can't believe it. This thing looks mental. Look, it's basically got the same derp gun that you can get on a KV-1. Uh, 370 pen with 140 alpha, meaning that you will be able to do 720 damage if you can pen both of those shells. But yeah, it's going to take a long time to be able to deliver them. That's for sure. Uh, scary tank. I wonder what its gun depression is. It's really going to make a big difference. Six degrees. Definitely not bad. Definitely not good. What about the vehicle's armor? 45 millimeters? Wow. Live by the sword, die by the sword. This thing is going to get derped just as much as it is going to derp. I can't imagine that this thing's going to sit at the back very much because its accuracy is 0.48. This, is th this thing's going to be a real freak. I'm kind of looking forward to playing this one and seeing the kind of games that happen in that vehicle. I don't think it's going to be hyper competitive, but in the right situation, it just could be ridiculous what it's able to achieve. Wow, oh, um, day of premium? That's not what I want. Looks like I'm turning into Arnie when I'm disappointed. Um, yeah, there is actually Arnie's pattern, right? That we could be getting in the boxes later on. Will it happen? Will it not happen? We will find out. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, I'm turning German now. Just even talking about Arnie and his pattern. Although, Arnie's Austrian, isn't he? But, you know, they speak the same, right? So it kind of makes sense. It's like... Oh! What's this? Oh, I already had that tank. So, I just managed to get myself a Panzer 38H, which is the Micro Mouse. And there's a big story behind this vehicle. Maybe catch me on stream later to uh, to find out about it. Actually, I've baited people. I have to tell people now. So, this tank back in the day used to be available inside this DVD box that you could buy for World of Tanks when the install was only like 3 or 4 gigabytes big back in 2010 and 2011. Although, 2011 in Europe, but probably they had it in 2010. In, um, in Russia as well. So I figured that back then you could actually just buy the starters editions again and again and again and again and be able to add the codes again and again and again and again. And they would, they would give you gold compensation for the vehicles before Wargaming changed it. And so I was buying tons of these codes that was giving the Panzer 38H and adding them to my account and getting 750 gold each time as well as the premium time and all of the other stuff. And it actually ended up being cheaper than buying gold inside the premium store, which was a great way to get premium time. And then I found a website that was actually selling the codes because they just bought loads of them and then... They were selling the codes. And then I, I told my Twitch audience and they sold out instantly. Uh, yeah. And I think that was the first time I actually made real money from this whole kind of like world of world of tanks, uh, YouTube and Twitch streaming. So sorry about that one, Wargaming. But you did learn and you, you changed it so the invite codes no longer gave compensation with that, right? I was just helping. I was just helping the testing. Anyway, that's the Panzer 38. We managed to get one after 37 boxes. And this thing is an overpowered vehicle inside a nice matchup. The only difference is now is that its 40 millimeters of armor doesn't feel so good when everyone is slinging gold. And there's lots of other tanks. 
Oh, I got an M3 light tank. It's a Soviet tier three that really nobody is going to care about. It's funny how I said um, I was getting unlucky with all of the little low tiers and suddenly they're all making their appearance. See what I mean? It's just RNG. It's it's not because, like, I guess Wargaming are listening to me. We just managed to get a couple in a row. And when you get them, they're actually, firstly, nice to have inside your garage. Um, but more importantly, they're even better when you've already got... That's more like it. Did I just get, like... <laughs> I just got them all in a row. You can get the garage slots as well. And while I definitely don't need those on my main account anymore, I've got garage slots for days on this account. But it is very nice for you if you need the garage slots and it does give you that kind of freedom to even not have to sell these vehicles see what i mean how random this game is it's completely luck based the fact that i didn't get any of them for the first th what looks like 31 boxes and then suddenly in the last like five or ten boxes it's just been tank on tank on tank on tank on tank on tank on tank and that is what gambling is and that is what these these loot boxes, they kind of blur the lines between what is gap. Goodness gracious, if I get any more Panzer Kampfwagen 38H, <laughs> the 375s, I don't even know what I'm going to do. They blur the line between gambling and, um, and video games. And well, the thing is, is that with these, you're always getting 250 gold, which for a pound, I'm not sure if you're happy about it. I probably wouldn't buy 250 gold for a pound. But at least if that's the worst possible option, you are kind of getting your value in gold each time as you go along. So it, it's tough. It's tough. Well, it's not. It's not so tough. It's still an unnecessary mechanic. And I really just wish there was the option to buy the tanks for like $40, $50, whatever you want to charge us in the store rather than having to go through this task of opening them up. All right, so we've opened up 50 boxes now. There you can see the loot after 50 boxes. We've got 10 vehicles, a red Shire cat, 34 days of premium, 20,600 gold, 1.1 million credits, and a lot of resources that we're going to be able to spend. So now we're going to be working our way on towards the Christmas boxes. So let's get going. And we haven't had a tier 8 premium in 18 boxes. So hopefully it's going to be one of the new ones. Well, it's guaranteed to be one of the new ones because I've already got the A and B T. So... That's always good news. No AMBT, no Vipera popping up. You will be able to get those. I'm also interested to see if I manage to see those vehicles pop up so we can get some compensation. Well, obviously my account is in a very fortunate position as I'm a, a community contributor. Um, have been since the start of the program. Oh, there we go. Nice SU12244, a cool 1,500 gold. This gold still kind of matters because I don't know about you this last year, but um, I've spent probably more gold uh, than I thought I would have done in the last year. Even though I participate in all the events to be able to try and get them from gold from ranked and so on and so forth, it definitely feels like it's been quite an expensive year for World of Tanks with so many kind of reward vehicles like the AMBT. How ridiculous is it now thinking that I bought that AMBT for, I don't know what I paid, I think it was like 20,000 gold just to be able to guarantee to be able to get it. Um, I think the minimum that you could get it for was about 15,000 gold on the European server as far as I remember. Um, but now it's literally just going to be given to everyone who uh, I guess still buys 50 large crates. So there is always that. So when Wargaming released these fancy tier 8 premiums, you know it's not going to be long before they release them again. I guess Wargaming now have like three tiers of premium release, right? They'll release ultra special vehicles. That was an unusual one. I just got straight some 50 gold, nothing else. Wargaming will... I guess it's because that was because I got the emerald the right color, right? Ah, I get it. Oh, there we go. It's a Harry Hopkins. Hooray. A thousand gold for me. Not bad. But as I was saying, Wargaming have like three ways to release them. They have like, oh, ultra rare. Buy it in an auction. And then they have it. Okay, now it's rare. So you can get it inside the loot boxes. And then thirdly, it'll be... Then you can actually buy it for money. And then fourthly, it'll be um, buying it for gold inside game. Talking about gold inside game, I haven't had a tier 8 premium in 47 boxes. Unlucky for me, right? But at least I'm guaranteed to get a new one. I wonder what it's going to be. Is it going to be the Arnie or is it going to be the other new one? Tier 9 or tier 8 in the next box? That's an unusual thing for it to say. Is it What's my what's my what's my soul tank? Is it Arnie or is it a French light? We're about to find out what it is. 
What is it? Is it Arnie? Or is it a French light? We will find out. Arnie, am I yours? Yes, I am. You know it. Ever since I watched Predator and Terminator, you know. You know, Arnie, I've been yours. And there is the M47 Iron Arnie. Uh, it does have Schwarzenegger down the side, the numbers on the back, some space protection. This thing looks like a Super Pershing for 2022, to say the least. Bit of a freak, though. Um, horrible DPM, horrible aim time, horrible accuracy, but all of the penetration mechanics that you need. I honestly think that this thing could end up being one of the one of the better tier 8 premiums. Uh, but then again, it could end up just being feeling like a T-34 or a Tornvang. But then again, you know, the Tornvang, I've been packing about 70% win ratio with it. So that has not been a bad result. And again, if you want to see me um, play with Arnie, well, the Iron Arnie, uh, later on on stream. Uh, yeah, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, the Yeah, you should come along. I'll, I'll, I'll be streaming with all of the new vehicles. Oh, it's a fun day. I'm really looking forward to playing those tanks. But we've got to get through opening all these boxes so all of my lovely audience on YouTube can enjoy the experience of watching a fat whale grow some blubber. Yes, things that I didn't think that I would say on YouTube today. A fat whale grow some blubber. Yes, 100%. Okay, so we've managed to get two of the new tier 8s. Um... Are we going to be able to get some more? Possibly. Possibly we're going to be able to get some more, I say. Well, I'm definitely guaranteed, because I know. I know that there's going to be another one guaranteed in about another 40 boxes. Do you see these bad luck streaks that you get? My god, listen to me sound sounding like an actual gambler. How funny was it that we had that burst of 10 boxes where all we did was get little premium tanks? And that was immediately... Well, it wasn't immediately after. We got the BZ-176. And now it's just... I'm clicking through box and box and box and box. And this is kind of the reality for a lot of people. A lot of people will buy 10 boxes or 20 boxes. And then they'll click through them. I'll be like, okay, so I got a lot of gold. It's not really what I wanted. And I got a lot of premium time of a game that I may or may not be playing over the holiday season, right? Literally, no. What is it? We got the Arnie after 68 boxes. And we now have, what, 18 left? So I just went on... Was that 20 boxes with just no premium tanks? Ah. Uh. Oh, I forgot you can get even get the styles. Are you kidding me? I totally forgot about the styles. And I haven't been getting any of the styles. And of course, what's the first style that Uncle Quacky Baby gets? The first style that Uncle Quacky Baby gets, of course, is for an artillery. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just going to be eating sandwiches while my uh, batch at 155.58 looks like this, which is a constellation. Yes, a constellation. Well, I, I'm hopefully my opponents are going to be seeing stars, if you know what I mean, after I manage to hit them with my batch at 155.58. I meme so hard in this vehicle that I even put a Quacky Babs in it. Because Quacky Babs is always playing it and he's always eating his sandwiches. I tell you what, this Quacky Babs, he's definitely going to have more of a married man gamer body down here. If you know what I mean. He eats so many sandwiches. I, mean, I eat sandwich every time I play Artie. So I had no memory that they even had five of these unique styles. And that's the first one I get. You're meant to get one of the styles every 20 boxes. Look, there's meant to be a 5% chance of being able to get the new styles. And can you believe... That it took me 83 boxes to be able to get one of the first styles. Let me clarify that. 83 boxes to be able to get one of the new styles. I should have statistically got four styles in that time. But that's not how it works, right? You, you go flip a coin four times in a row and you call it each time. If you get unlucky, well, that's what just happened with me effectively um, but the difference is, is those boxes would have cost me like 80 pounds to be able to afford. So, buyer beware. 83 boxes to be able to get one of the new styles. Mental stuff. That was a, an incredibly bad run of luck. And all in all, I'd say that I have been very unlucky with this series of boxes. I mean, I've, I got one tier 8, the BZ176, early on. What is actually happening? I haven't got any, I haven't got a single premium tank in since the Arnie, which was after 68 boxes. Is it a style? No, it's actually a tank. Oh my goodness gracious, is this the one that I don't have? 
is it going to be? Is it going to be the French? This is just so random. It's so random. So I got no tier eights, but then I get the tier nine without the bad luck prevention mechanic. So now I get the Char MLE 75, which this thing is a freak. It fires two sets of three rounds. So it goes pow, pow, pow. And then it has a, a significant intraclip reload for three and a half. And then it goes pow, pow, pow again. Horrible penetration mechanics. mechanics. Interesting uh, HE mechanics. Really looking forward to playing this one once again on stream later. I think this thing could be pretty disgusting in the right scenario. I'm also looking forward to seeing how much camo it has, considering it's very low profile. Again, full tank review of this and all of the other vehicles coming soon. But I just really want to highlight something. I'm recording down the order that I get everything. And do you notice how here, between about 32 and 45, we've got about seven different premium tanks, uh, or five different premium tanks. And then, after Arnie, it's 68 boxes, we didn't get the um, Chai Mele 75 for another 21 boxes. And in that time, we got nothing. All that we got was that one star for the Batch at 155.58. And I'm actually getting worried because there's four other styles that I need to get, and I've only got 120 boxes left. And if I continue to get this unlucky, I won't get all of the new styles. That would be a joke, wouldn't it? Okay, I say that, but here they come, right? Lol, 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 lol. Um, again, I'm actually happy that that happens. I mean, I'm not happy for my account, because this is money that's going to be going, well, this is currency going onto the account, but what, what am I saying? My, I'm such a whale, my blubber will last for a long time. Ah, see? Oh, it's so random. It's for the Char Future 4, baby! This is one of my favorite tanks at the moment. I, I, I want to do like a full tank review, or it's going to be like a masterclass video on this vehicle very soon. Oh, it's a beautiful looking style. I love it. This thing is just so much more fun than a bat chat is. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, that's a really cool looking style. Super happy that I got this one. I would have actually been pretty sad if I didn't manage to get this style. And it happened after 90 boxes. So do you know what I mean with the way that random is random? We got the Char Future, sorry, we got the Batch at 15558 after 83 boxes, and then seven boxes later we get the Char Future 4. I'm still down on luck though, because I should have got four, I should have got all four, well, four, uh, all four of the styles. Yeah, get your words out, Quacky Babs, in that time. Finally got ourselves a Panzer Kampfwagen KW1 there. That's one of the only of the low tier premiums that we've managed to get in these 50 boxes. So I think I will take this moment to clarify once again that the only difference between all of the boxes is the resource that you get. So don't buy boxes thinking that some boxes are more lucky than others, even though statistically it kind of... <laughs> no, this is a this is the problem. A lot of people, you can think with your, your heart, right? And it can be a case of... Um, you think just because you see something happening, then it must be uh, must be how it is. But really, random is random. And talking about random, we've only got four boxes left of this set of 50, and we haven't really managed to... Um, well, I guess we got two tier eights, right? We got the Char MLE 75, and we got the Iron Arnie. So I've actually got all of the new vehicles, but I'm wondering if I'm going to get any of the tier eights randomly. Wait, another style. Thank goodness. Gosh, can you believe... It was 83 boxes to get our first style. And now we just got the one for the STRV 103B. Now this one's actually really cool because it has like a little antenna that goes up, um, up and down, depending on whether it's in and out of the siege mode. That's actually pretty cool. But I really do enjoy my current style for the STRV 103B. Um, I'm still going to whack this on here anyway so that people can be able to see it for a little while, but I really love the other style that I have for this tank. This is one of my favorites and one of the best tank destroyers in the game, so it's cool that I managed to get a style for it after 98 boxes, boys and girls. All right, we've only got two boxes left of the Christmas boxes, as Wargaming like to call them, and i got 39 boxes until I'm guaranteed to be able to get a tier eight premium final one of my christmas boxes what are we going to do are we going to get a tier eight premium no acknowledged all right let's take a look to see what the scores were with regards to um what we've made so it looks like we've got pretty much exactly the same again with regards to value that time it was actually interesting we managed to get more gold than we got the first time although you could argue we got more gold because maybe we already had the tier eight Sorry, not the tier 8s, 
even though we do now have the tier 8s, but none of them appeared. I think the reason why we got more gold that time was because we weren't getting the Harry Hopkins for the first time. And I just realized that I forgot to write down me getting the Harry Hopkins for the first time. So I'm just going to put one in there. But now the 16 adds up to the 16 that I've been writing. My point it is that because we managed to get all of those new vehicles like the harry hopkins the su uh 2122 and the panzer kampfwagen kw1 when we got them again we managed to get gold compensation so that means that for your first boxes you're probably going to end up getting less gold but for your subsequent boxes once you've already got the um when you've already got the the low tier premiums and even the tier 8 premiums then you're going to get a lot more gold what's Okay, that was an interesting one. What is this? The New Year boxes? Chinese New Year boxes? Oh, it starts off strong with an M3 light. Listen to me sounding like a gambler. Starts off strong. Goodness gracious. Although, really, is that even that good of a result? Wow, it sounds like... It makes like a, a creaking noise or a bird noise each time. Okay, so different noises. I'm pretty sure that noise is going to be etched into my brain for the rest of the day. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 500 gold. All right. So, I think I've reached that point. Oh, there we go. Another Harry Hopkins, which I'll probably forget to write down. Ha ha ha. After 105 Bopkins. Bopkins? Did I really say Bopkins? Boxes. Hopkins. Hopkins and boxes is now Bopkins. That sounds like it's something from Breath of the Wild, right? The Bodkins or whatever they're called. Bokkins? Goodness gracious, somebody's going to correct me in the comments down below. Do it! I deserve to. My brain. Obviously, it's being melted slowly by all of the gleam and the glare from these boxes as they're being opened. But also, from the noise of that bird, I guess, that's making a funny thing. Or is it like... I need some oil. It's kind of like my chair. My chair's a little creaky like that. Whoop! Yeah, it is. Actually, I'm not sure if you heard that. Um, Alright. Come on. Come on, baby. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Just a lot of nothing, really. Although we did get two of them. we still got two styles left. One for the Super Conqueror, which looks awesome, and one for the Minotaro. And I'm munching my way through these boxes like a greedy little pigeon. Um, luckily, we've got a few more. But I really want to get those two styles. It's what I'm missing. The Super Conqueror style and the Minotaro style. And the Minotaro style is a new style, okay? If I don't get the Minotaro style, I'm going to be a sad panda. A real sad panda, because that's th there's no style for the Minotauro yet. I am now about a hundred and what? Fourteen? Sorry, sorry, 116 boxes in to the 200. And I don't have the Minotauro style yet. I feel like I might not get it. If I don't get it, I'm going to be going to be a sad camper. But I guess it's just one of the completely random ones, right? Um... Now, will there be a chance to be able to... Now, do you know one thing that's really interesting as well, as we get an M3 light, is that I have all of the styles from last year as well. So, if you don't have all of the styles from last year, then that means that it could be quite scary for you, because um, you might be getting those styles. So, if you didn't open any of the boxes last year, and you really, really, really want that Minotauro style, I'm not sure how it works, whether it... Rolls the dice, sees if you get a style, and then gives you one that you don't have. Or if it just rolls the dice each time to see if you can get, like, uh, any of the styles. And if you've already got them, it gives you no compensation. So, a little bit concerning for me. Still the Super Conqueror. Still the Minotauro to be able to get. Come on, give me the style. I'm now I'm nearly 100 and... Well, I'm 124 boxes into it. And I have you noticed I haven't got many of the random tier 8s or tier 9s this year? And I think I've got them, like, a couple of times. It's going to be 25 boxes now. Or how many boxes is it until... Wait a minute, no, I've got all of the vehicles. So there's no guaranteed... Well, there is a guaranteed... Wait a minute. Does that mean my guaranteed mechanics have completely disappeared now because I have all of the tier 8s? Oh, no, no. So the, guar the guaranteed mechanics still appear. I've got 10 guaranteed to get a tier 8. But considering that I've got all of the vehicles, because I managed to get the Arnie and I got the Char MLE 75, um, the, the Arnie was with bad luck mechanics, but the MLE 75 was not. So that shows you now that... At least you still get the guaranteed vehicle mechanics, even if you have all of the vehicles. But it's it's getting close now. 
This has been a pretty bad run of boxes, hasn't it? I've only got three little low tier premiums from all of these boxes and none of the styles. Oh my god, I've only got 69 boxes left and I've got to get two styles. Come on, Minotauro style, where are you? Five boxes now until we get the A tier 8 or a tier 9. I wonder which one it's going to be. And so remember, the way that it works is it will always give you tier 8 premiums you don't have first. And then after it's given you all of the tier 8 premiums that you don't have, then it's going to be a random tier 8 or tier 9 premium as the case may be. Another M3 light. I've had enough of these blooming M3 lights. They're just looking there at me, torturing me after 135 boxes. Wow, this has been a stinker set. We've got it. We've, we've opened 35 boxes and all we've got is four low tier premiums. But here we go. We're going to be able, guaranteed now to get a tier 8 or a tier 9 in the next box. What's it going to be? Which one are we going to get? I hope it's the most expensive one, which is... The most expensive one is the AMBT. Oh, I got the cheapest one, I think, which is the Iron Arnie. I actually did! The Iron Arnie is the cheapest gold compensation. Well, there we go. Thank you very much. Literally the worst possible one to be able to get once you've already got it. I know that sounds like first world problems, but we got an Iron Arnie, which is worth 9,100 gold. I was hoping that maybe the tier 9 would be worth a little bit more, but even the tier 9 is only worth 9,500 gold. So did I say 9,500 for the Iron Arnie? I meant 9,100. It's the Chari Mali 75 that's 9,500. I, that's kind of sneaky of Wargaming to put a light tank in as tier 9, and even though it's the first tier 9 premium light, it gets the lowest amount of gold uh, compensation. So that's 140 boxes opened, and we have got no Badger style, no Super Conqueror style. Yo, I'm angry. I'm, I'm actually getting quite angry. But, you know, we've got 50 boxes left, so maybe we don't have to stress too much. Maybe we don't have to stress too much. Would you be stressed? I guess some of you would be, you know? Like, can you imagine that, in theory, we've spent... Oh, come Oh, it's the Super Conqueror! I've already got styles for the Super Conqueror. At least that makes me feel a little bit better that I actually managed to get one. In theory, I should have got seven styles so far. And that was my fourth for the Super Conqueror. Nice looking style. After 143 boxes, very cool, very steampunk, um, really like it. It has a proudly made in England on the back. Um, gasoline electric, it's, it, it is a cool style. I have to admit, I'm probably going to be leaving that one on this vehicle for a while. Um, yeah, that is funky. Um, it almost has like a Warhammer 40k kind of vibe as well with the gold and the black. I can't help but think it's kind of like a Chaos Space Marine as well going in. I'm sure Ike would like this one, but I can't imagine Ike. I don't think he even has a Super Conqueror. Alright, well, we've got a few more boxes left. And the only thing I need now is the Minotauro. Just... Oh, oh I've got a random Iron Arnie! I am not complaining about that. Goodness gracious. That is a huge amount. 9,000 gold just out of there. And that also is a really good time for it to happen because I have 50 boxes left. So I'm really happy that that happened because now I'm going to be able to guarantee myself with the remaining 50 boxes to get at least one more tier 8 or tier 9. So that is good news for me. That was like just a free 9,000 gold. Um, so obviously the worst time to get, like, a random one would be just before you're about to open, like, another 49 boxes. Because then you'll be, like, rocking backwards and forwards hoping that you're going to get one. Otherwise you'll have to throw a few more coins into the slot machine to be able to guarantee yourself to get that final tier 8 or tier 9. And it would totally be worth it. If you, if you have, like, less than 5 or even less than 10... Yes, baby! Oh my goodness gracious, I was sweating that I wouldn't get it! Oh, there's the Minotauro style. Oh my lord, with the maze on the front. Baby, I was really bloody worried. How many boxes? It was like 150 or 149 boxes. 149 boxes. Oh, that's interesting. I did a postcard up the top. Why do I click view style and it doesn't say, like, put it on the tank? Okay. Acknowledged. Oh, was that 150? It was. That was the 150th box. Terrifying though, boys and girls. It took me 150 boxes to be able to um, 
to get all of the new styles. And that is coming from a gigantic whale who had all of the styles to begin with. So let's add in our gold tally, see how much we made. Of course, it's going to be quite a lot more now. And the reason why it's going to be quite a lot more now is because I got the Iron Arnie twice, which I've already had it, right? So that time from the 50 boxes, we actually made nearly 40,000 gold not too bad, as well as uh, 1.6 million credits and 27 days of premium. I'd say all in all, those boxes were pretty unlucky, and I think the only saving thing really was the fact that we got that random Iron Arnie. But, oh, let's go take a look at the Minotaurus style. I gotta take a look at it. Why is it saying repairs required? Oh, uh, that's why it didn't put the style on. <laughs> Apparently, you can't put a style on if you if your tank was destroyed and i guess my tank was destroyed because i had absolutely no credits after the um i had absolutely no credits after wargaming sales and so if you're wondering why wouldn't i got a funny bug there my tank was actually destroyed so it wouldn't actually let me put the style on this is a funky one though it's a little bit barren i have to admit but it's got the horns and it's got the maze on the front it's cool I'd say it's actually probably one of the worst styles but at least it's one of the new ones and wargaming probably know that they probably know, oh, it's a brand new vehicle, so... By the way, I thought that that was like the outline of a WT Alpha 100 in the background. You can see that I've got stress from those WT Alpha 100s destroying me back in September. Um, it, maybe Wargaming are kind of being a little bit more conservative with the first style, and they'll do something really cool for the Minotauro later on. Anyway, time for the last 50 boxes, boys and girls. Let's open them up. And do you know what? I think I might do five at a... Nah, let's just... I've got this far. I've got this far. Let's just do the last 50. Let's do the last 50. Oh, man. I feel so much more relaxed knowing that I got all of the new content. Honestly, I, I was just expecting myself to have to just throw coins into the um, into the uh, the Wargaming treadmill. And there's no way that Wargaming were going to give me more boxes. I would definitely have to have not given money to Cancer Research and Special Effect instead. That would have been me giving Wargaming money. To be honest, I wouldn't have done it, actually. Um, I feel like styles, are they're cool. But um, I would have never have just bought more boxes to try and get a single style. I honestly think that that's just stupid, in my opinion, and it's just a complete waste of money. Sure, I guess you could argue, oh, I'm good. If, you, if you need the gold or the premium time anyway, not too bad. All right, Harry, what's up? How you doing, bruv? Good to see you. After uh, 158 boxes, Harry appears. So, look, if you need the gold and the premium time, then these boxes are not bad, but a lot of people are now starting to get to the stage where they have like years of premium on their account. And Wargaming know perfectly well that premium time now is far less valuable than it used to be. Um, they've given away more of it during events and they know that whales have already got like a year of premium time. I wonder if Wargaming will ever do something where you can trade your premium time for like some kind of super premium account or something. Well, QB, please don't give them ideas. I can hear the whole community out there, right? I want to spend two days of premium a day. I'm that much of a whale, you know? But um, let me know in the comments whether you are the 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 Omega Whale uh, that, that has a lot of blubber to give uh, with regards to premium days. Because I wouldn't be surprised if there's a lot of players out there like me who have just too much premium time. Not that I want something to spend it on, but it's starting to get silly. It's getting to the stage where when they throw premium time in bundles, they know probably perfectly well that it's just inflated value that nobody really cares about. Come on. All right. Well, the, the funny thing is, is that I've got 33 boxes left and I know that I've got a guaranteed mechanic coming up in about 30 boxes, but I still wouldn't mind getting a bunch of tier eights. How many tier eights have we had so far? Four? Just four. Oh, no, five. Five, sorry. We've had five tier eights so far. Now, in theory, I think the chances of getting a tier eight is about two and a half percent. So I should get at least, well, I guess I've got lucky then. Kind. No, I should get five. Yeah, so I've already been lucky effectively. As in theory, obviously, if I open up 100, uh, 200 boxes, I should get five tier eight premiums. Um, so I guess I can't really hope for too much more. But I know that I'm guaranteed to get one tier eight. If I see a tier 8 appear, then I'm going to be kind of... This sounds weird. I'm going to be gambling again because I'm going to be hoping that more tier 8s appear before the end. Um, because 
Obviously, the last thing that I want is to be left with, oh, I only have to buy another three boxes to be able to get like a, a tier eight premium because if your bad luck prevention happens just before. All right, we got ourselves another Panzer 38. Great, 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 great. Really no cares there. 175 boxes, 25 more. I wonder which my my spirit tier eight. Have you noticed I've not got a single Vipera in the whole of these boxes randomly? And I haven't got a single AMBT randomly. But let me clarify that if I didn't have those vehicles, then when I randomly got, well, when I had the bad luck prevention, I would be guaranteed to get one of them. One thing that I don't know, and let me know in the comments down below whether you know for sure, is whether you, when you randomly get a tier 8 or a tier 9, if it's guaranteed to be one that you don't have. I understand the guaranteed mechanics will always give you one that you don't have, but when you randomly get one, can you randomly get the same tier 8 or tier 9 that you already have? Or is it guaranteed to be one that you don't have? It's something that I should probably know, and it's probably something I could just read. But at this stage... We've got boxes to get through. I've got games to play later on. I want to play some premium tanks. Ten more boxes until a guaranteed tier 8 or tier 9. I wonder which one is going to be my spirit. Well, to be fair, it doesn't really matter because all I want is hopefully the BZ-176 because that one's worth... Uh, it's a Harry Hopkins for a thousand gold. That's actually pretty cool that the Harry Hopkins is worth a thousand gold. I've been getting quite a lot of those, as you may have seen. So a hundred... And 84 boxes in. Sorry, 86 boxes in with 14 boxes left. The best one to get is the Vipera. 9,950. Followed by the BZ-176, which is 9,900. And then the AMBT is 9,850. And then the worst ones to get are the Arnie, which is 9,100. Another Hopkins. With the Chai Mali at 9,500. All right, we've only got 12 boxes left. We've opened up 188, and we've got six more boxes until we're going to be able to get a guaranteed one. What is it going to be? Is it going to be more gold for me? Well, we know it's going to be more gold for you, QB. We definitely know it's going to be more. Notice how... Harry! Harry! You're just appearing, bud. After, like, we've just got Harry in, like, four boxes on the truck. I guess I'm not complaining, because you know, it's gold compensation, right? All right, we've got three more boxes until a guaranteed one. It'd be funny if you've got, like, a random one, one box before. It'd be such a kick in the face. Although still, luck is better than no luck, right? Okay, here we go. Guaranteed tier 8 or tier 9 coming right up. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be, baby? Please don't be the Arnie again. Oh, it's the AMBT. Not a bad result. 9,850 gold, and the first time we've got the AMBT after 194 boxes. But again, let me clarify, the only reason that was the first time I got the AMBT is because I already had it. That's right, I'm a whale, I had it back in the day. I wish I could have only only paid 9,800 gold for it. That's for sure. Would have been a lot cheaper than whaling it out. Alright, three boxes, come on. Come on. Premium. Premium, premium, premium. Tier 8 premium. Come on, three boxes. Come on, I, I think there's a Vipera coming. I can smell it. I can smell a Vipera. That's not a Vipera. Come on, two boxes. I can smell a Vipera. If you can smell a snake, that's fairly impressive. Are snakes smelly? Let me know. Oh no, it's a Harry Hopkins. What a surprise. Any of my snake owners out there, let me know. Does snakes smell? Probably. Or are they very clean? I don't bloody know. I've never owned a snake. And I'm not going to own a Vipera today either. QQQ. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, no more boxes available. You could purchase more. And I need 44 more to get it guaranteed. So I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I am not doing that. Alrighty then, boys and girls. So the final tally. We get to find out what the final tally was. 544-593. So... We got less lucky in those boxes than we did in the Luna, but that should be pretty obvious because it all comes down to... It just all comes down to whether you're lucky enough to get those random tier rates. 
So in that set, we've got 36 days of premium, 2.1 million credits, which doesn't make sense. And that's because I must have repaired the Minotauro. Oh, disaster has struck that pesky Minotauro. I didn't take that into the equation. And I guess that must mean that my Minotauro repair cost was 26,000. So Quacky Baby can fix it. We add that onto there and then boom. What my actual final tally of credits should be would be 8.16 million, which means that we made 2.2 million credits in that last one, excluding the Minotauro repair. So my final tally after 200 boxes opened are 32 vehicles, five styles, the Red Shire Cat, 138 days of premium, 116,750 gold, and 6.3 million credits. But there's a few things that I want to highlight, and that is that I was actually incredibly fortunate that I managed to get one of the SU-122, or sorry, the SU-2-122s. I only got two of them in all of the boxes, and I didn't get any for the last 145 boxes that I opened. So I want to stress that if you want to get one of those low-tier premiums, I didn't get one of the specific SU-2-122s in 145 boxes in a row. And also, if we're thinking about the Panzer Kampfwagen KW-1, I didn't get one for 109 boxes in a row. But, you know, I was getting the Harry Hopkins, the M3 Lite, and the Panzer Kampfwagen 38H 735s just all of the time. I also want to highlight that it took 150 boxes to be able to get the final style that I wanted. So you have been warned. If your goal is to just be able to get all of the new content, it took me 150 boxes to be able to get it. So accordingly, I work it out as a chance of a tier five premium or less as 13% and a chance of a tier eight premium or less as 3%, which is very close to what Wargaming was suggesting of a 2.4% of getting a tier eight or a tier nine premium and the 11.66% to be able to get one of the tier two to tier five premiums. So their percentages are pretty much bang on. It looks like I got 10% lucky in theory with regards to getting the premium tanks. However, I got incredibly unlucky with regards to how long it took me to get all the skins. In theory, considering that there were five new skins, it should have taken me 100 boxes to be able to get all of them. It took me 150 to be able to get that Minotauro. And it was really sweaty between 143 and 150 as to whether I was going to get it. As it could, took me 83 boxes to get my first, and then there was a 50 break between the Sturitzvang 103B and the Super Conqueror, or 45 uh, box break if we're talking about it like that. So the main thing that people will be interested in is the gold per box. These boxes are worth, and keep in mind, if you have all of the vehicles, uh, 583 for me on average for my 200 boxes. But let me clarify, this is very important here, that if I didn't already have the AMBT and I didn't have the Vipera, then my bad luck prevention, i.e. of the six boxes that I got, I wouldn't have got gold compensation uh, once. Instead, I actually got the gold compensation three times out of my six tier eight or tier nines that I pulled because of course I already had three. So you should kind of take from the, the total gold that I got probably about 30,000 away if you weren't having any of them, which means that if you're not a whale like me, I'd say on average, if you got as lucky as I did, which is it's hard to get less lucky than I did in theory, you will be pulling 433 gold per box. And also keep in mind that I already had the um, two of these premiums. So maybe a little bit less. I'd say you're going to be getting at least 400 gold per box on average, as well as also getting 0.69 nice days of premium per box and getting about 31,000 credits per box, which is that's really not a good deal, is it? But one of the main things that is exciting is the resources that you get and you can spend these resources to be able to do your missions with Arnie and Mila. Or at least not the missions, but you're going to be able to do Mila's assignments. And so now you can spend all of those on being able to, to get through this. And usually people are going to have to be up in the hills, mining away in the colonies. How, how do I even access them? I have to click up there, do I? Okay. Change the camera, look around, click in the hills to be able to claim all my stuff, collect the resources. 
bingity bangity bong all of those resources are going to go into my um my collection and then i can be able to give them to the celebrities <laughs> so that they can give me little rewards back yes and of course you can do the resource converter as well but you will be losing as i said in my video 20 percent so it's interesting as well that your second collection can only be done 55 minutes after your first. So I guess Wargaming literally want you to log in to World of Tanks every day and play for at least an hour. Or log in, uh, click the button, wait 55 minutes and click the button again. So it looks like the auto collection feature is not going to be such a big deal as I thought it might be. But it will be a big deal unless you're willing to play World of Tanks for 55 minutes and click at the start of your session and click at the end of the session and get those resources and, and spend them. Anyway, ladies and gents, boys and girls, that was Quacky Baby's guide to how how much value there is inside these loot boxes. The scary thing is, is that if I wanted to go and buy 116,000 gold, how much would that cost me? How much would 116,000 gold cost me? It doesn't look like I can buy 116,000 gold, so what is the maximum amount of gold that anyone can buy? You can buy 5,000, can I buy 99999? No, the most you can buy is 55,000. So let's just take that and do it twice. So from like a, uh, a perspective, it would cost me 154.81 pounds to be able to buy the amount of gold that I got. And that wouldn't be including the tanks that I got. It wouldn't be including the credits, the premium time. So if you're the kind of person who just finds themselves buying gold, then undeniably these boxes are of great value. The issue is, is that not many people should be spending this kind of money on that kind of amount of gold. Do you need this amount of gold? No, you really don't. My free-to-play account has 90-95% of the fund that my main account does, and it doesn't spend anything on the game at all. And also, be warned about the amount of days of premium that you get. Are you going to continue to play World of Tanks for the next 138 days? It's not like you have to, if it doesn't matter to you, but don't take that the premium time is... Um, added value unless you truly are going to use it and from a credits perspective yo you do not get that many credits for your 200 pounds anyway ladies and gents boys and girls that was it for today really hope this video was useful for some of you and you've now got my cheat sheet about how valuable the boxes are if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you hated it give it a thumbs down and yeah i'm gonna be going live on twitch roughly as this video comes out maybe a, a touch later giving you my first impressions of the char mle 75 the bz176 and the m47 iron arnie and so looking forward to seeing you all live and if you can't watch then subscribe and i'll be releasing tank reviews of all three of these vehicles over the next three days so have a good time be responsible and good luck if you're trying to get yourself a specific tank. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.